Gather round, everybody, as we start an epic adventure into the world of reality. Artist reality. Hey, everybody. Todd V, Todd V.com. Jay Edwards, BlackEyeArt.com. And this is another episode of... Artist Reality. We've got another fun one for you. We got a great one for you. Virtual interview time. Well, around this time, yes. there's tons of stuff going on in DC. Okay, okay, for sure. I'm not talking about the obvious though. Okay. I'm talking about DC own Matt Ciso. Oh, Matt Ciso, awesome artist. Very incredible, very prolific. Yeah, I really, I mean, I, I really dig his business model. I like how. He works so fast and he's got art up on such a regular basis that you can check his website and see what he did this week. It's just like boom, boom, boom. You gotta stay up on it too. Yeah. He, yeah, because if you don't, it's gonna be sold. He posts tons of stuff every day. Yeah. He, every day. He is a very active painter. And really, proof of what we always talk about, and that is this is done as a job. You know, it's not you just sit around and hope painting sell. He actively makes it happen. I'm, I'm a big fan, as you can tell. Overactively. Yeah. It seems like the more he paints, the more he sells. Huh. Interesting. Wouldn't that be nice for, if all artists could say that? Well, let's meet him. Let's get. Let's say hello to Matt Ciso. Hi, Matt. How you doing, Matt? Hi, I'm Matt Ciso, and it's November 2008. I'm here in my studio in Washington, D.C. So, Matt, tell us how you got your start in the art business. Uh, I got into painting as a hobby or kind of as a joke I guess because I didn't really take myself seriously as any kind of painter or artist. Uh, I did it really just from meeting a girl that I was trying to impress, uh, you know, by being an artist. Uh, so I suppose my first steps were just to paint as much as I could with the time I had and to try to um, learn as much as I could about the, the materials, um, you know, go to, like I said, local art stores and, and ask questions. And then also here in DC, we're, we're lucky because we have a lot of, of free museums. So I, I would go down, t go down to the mall area and, um, you know, look at paintings that I really, you know, find paintings that I like and then just try to understand maybe how or what the person was thinking or how they did it. Um, I guess reverse engineer. So, yes, as artists, yes, we have our process, the way we go about doing things. Correct. You got yours, I got mine. Yep. But Matt, what is yours? How do you get going? What's your process? Um, so yeah, I suppose I'm prolific in that I, I um, try to spend all my time painting uh, daily. I guess it's, this is like I said, all I do now. Uh, I. Um, I guess my my daily schedule is I I go you know get up and pretty much answer emails in the morning if anything happened overnight from the you know like the previous day if I posted new paintings um, and uh, so if I you know if I'm working towards a gallery show I might be painting those specific types of paintings that I was planning for that you know like whether or not it's a it's a show that's soon I might have to paint using acrylic or something you know that dries quickly um, but my preference is to just sit down and uh, work with oil um, it takes a lot longer to dry but I like the effects are much more satisfying with the painting um, so yeah so the daily the daily schedule uh, like I said I you know I paint and um, it takes a lot of energy I I like to make my work emotional, so I sometimes have to, you know, get myself into a frenzy um, to do it, and it, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. That's interesting stuff, but Matt, here's the tough one. Where do you find that balance between being this prolific artist and handling the business side of being an artist? Ooh, tough one. Mm, let's see the answer. Just really reduce your, your expenses um, and just live simply and don't don't be extravagant. Um, so that way you'll be able to become a painter or whatever kind of art you're doing without feeling the pressure to, to, to keep up a lifestyle or an expense, expensive lifestyle, I guess. Um, so it's easier said than done. I mean, I, you know, I could say that because I guess I've done it, but 
but I realize it is difficult for a lot of people to, to change. I mean, I, I, it was hard for me when I got rid of my car, um, <laughs> but uh, it's, it was a great thing. I feel great now without it. So anyways, uh, motivation, just uh, keep doing it. Motivation. Something that's important. Oh, I thought you we were doing a robot thing. I was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Motivation. Motivation. You need it. Absolutely. It's like gasoline in a car. Mm-hmm. Without it, where are you going to go? Or no munchos way. in a Todd V. Okay. Yeah. So, motivation, man. Where do you get it? Motivation. Uh, I guess I get most of my motivation from uh, getting a reaction from people. I think that's... That's really what keeps me going. I like to I like to um, get a a reaction, whether it be positive or negative. Uh, I like to think of myself maybe as somehow documenting times that I've lived through, or you know, what history in the making kind of thing. You know, living in D.C., there's a lot of change here all the time. Well, that's cool. Something we can all take home with that one. But tell us now. This is sort of a introspective one. What's your proudest moment as an artist? Um, proudest, proudest achievement, gee, probably my, um, the 31 Days in July project. Uh, I didn't do it last year, which was, or this year actually, 2008, because I went to China to paint, um, which is another nice achievement, I guess. I traveled a lot and painted um, while traveling and then, you know, show them on my website. So Matt, you seem to be doing pretty good as being a painter as a profession. Do you have any advice for artists starting out or artists who have been at it for a while that maybe want to take it to the next level? Yeah, so if you're starting out as an artist, um, I think first off you should, you should probably just call yourself a painter. I mean, I still call myself a painter. Uh, maybe, you know, you just kind of sit back and don't, don't really go out there and push yourself as, you know, saying that you're going to, you know, rule the world as a painter or whatever, an artist. Uh, just create your stuff out of love for it and happiness and whatever social or if you're you know working through some stuff do do that with your work with your paintings. Uh, that's it. So uh, this is Matt Ciso again. It's, like I said, November 2008, and uh, you can visit my website at ciso.com. And it would be great to hear from you if you have any comments or I can answer any more questions. That would be cool. Thanks for being on The Artist's Reality. And remember, you can check out more of Matt's work at CISO.com. And it's awesome stuff. If, you don't, if you're not familiar with his work, go there, check it out. And Very cool. That it? So. That's the show? That's been this episode of The Artist's Reality. And that's coming to you from Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. And Akron. The Akron, D.C. connection. That's right. Round trip. And so for this episode, I'd like to say, ciao. Stay in touch with reality. We'll see you next time.